Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For this trick, you're gonna have your spectator cut off approximately a third of the cards and they're gonna give their packet a shuffle. While they shuffle their cards, you're gonna also cut off about a third of the cards and you're gonna shuffle your packet as well. Now, once they're happy that their packet has been mixed, have them take a sneaky peek at the top card and remember it, okay? In this case, it's the Ace of Diamonds, all right? Now, no one has shuffled that packet, so if you would go ahead and shuffle those cards, so you have them shuffle up the cards that are remaining, and they're gonna drop those cards on top of their selection, burying their card down in the pack, okay? You will then place your cards on top and ask the spectator to give the cards a couple of cuts, okay? So they're gonna cut the deck wherever they want, all right? Now, think about this. You thought of a card from a shuffled deck, you then cut it into the packet and it's lost in the deck. Don't forget your card, okay? We're gonna come back to that in just a second. But before we do, we're gonna play a game of blackjack, okay? And we'll see if you can beat me and I'll play the role as the, uh, the dealer in the casino, okay? If you would, go ahead and cut off about half the cards into my hand and we're gonna play from the position that you cut, okay? So we're each gonna get a whole card and then a card face up. So in this case, they're gonna take a look at their hand. They have a six and an ace, which is a one or 11, so a 17. So let's say they stay, all right? They're not gonna take a hit. Over here, we've got a jack and a four, which is a 14. Okay, so I would take a hit with a 14, um, and I got an 8, so I busted with a 22. What was your score? They're going to say they had a 17, so in this case, they won. They beat the dealer, okay? Now, here's what's interesting, though. We're going to use your score in this blackjack game to find your card. Since you scored a 17, we're going to count down to the 17th card and see if we get a hit, all right? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's the seventeenth card. The first time, what was the name of your selection? And they should say the Ace of Diamonds. There it is, guys. That's Blackjack with Joe Barry. Um, and if you want a tutorial, stick around because we're going to go over that in just a second. Okay. Now, how does this trick work? Here's what we're going to do. Um, you need a regular pack of playing cards, 52 cards, no joker, and then you're going to use a card that has a reverse breather in it. So I've put a reverse breather into my nine of clubs, okay? This card goes onto the bottom of your packet, and then you're going to put 16 cards underneath of it, okay? There's eight. There's eight more. So there's 16 cards underneath the breather on the bottom of the deck. Have the spectator cut off approximately a third, and they're gonna give their cards a shuffle. You will now reach over and cut to your reverse breather, and you're gonna give your cards a shuffle. Now, whatever you do here, you gotta make sure the reverse breather ends up on the bottom, okay? So you could shuffle it into the middle of the pack, and then you could say, I want you to give your cards a cut, and as you demonstrate the cut, you cut the reverse breather to the bottom, or you can slip shuffle it and just leave it on the bottom as you go through your shuffling procedure, okay? Up to you. They will now take a, a peek at their card. In this case, it's the Jack of Diamonds. And now you say, now no one shuffled those cards. Now you know there's 16 cards there because you put them on the bottom of your packet. So you have them pick those up and they're gonna shuffle these 16 cards and they're gonna drop it on top of their selection, which is the Jack of Diamonds, okay? So now, if you put your packet with the reverse breather on top, as long as we cut the breather to the bottom, the selection, the Jack of Diamonds, is gonna be in the 17th position from the top. So they can now give the cards a couple of cuts. Sometimes they'll cut to the breather, but as you pick it up, just take a peek and see if the Nine of Clubs is on the bottom. I can see that it's not. So I just recap, you, you shuffled the cards, you cut the cards wherever you wanted, and as you're recapping the effect what's happened so far, you just casually cut your breather card to the bottom of the pack, okay? So now, at this point, you're set for the ending. Say, don't forget your card. Before we get to that, we're gonna play a game of blackjack. Now, you need them to cut deeper than 17 because you wanna get that packet out of the way so you don't mix up how far down in the deck their card is. So I'm borrowing this idea from Joseph Barry and his effect, 10 cards for Levante. Um, he has them cut off and they play poker from the position that they cut. So I'm doing that same thing using that idea from Joe Barry. We're going to play blackjack from the position that was cut to, okay? Now the reason why I came up with this trick was because blackjack is a game revolving around a number. 
And I thought, what a great way to lead into a card at a number. And a lot of these ideas feel very Joe Barry-like to me, which is why I call this trick Blackjack with Joe Barry. But anyway, we're gonna now deal the cards out, a Blackjack hand. They're gonna take a look at what they've got. So in this case, they have a 12, okay? So you ask them, do you wanna hit? They're gonna say, yes, they wanna hit, okay? So let's say they take a hit. So now they have a 16, okay? Let's say they stop there. They're not real aggressive. They're gonna stop at a 16. Now you don't know what their score is yet. So you're just gonna play blackjack the way you would. You have a 20, so here you're gonna say, I'm not gonna take a hit, what do you got? They're gonna reveal their score, and I'll say they'll say they have a 16, I got a 20, well I won. Well what I'm doing now is I know their card is 17 cards down from the top. I have to get it to 16, all right? So I have to remove one card from that packet. In this case, what I'm gonna do is basically what Joe Barry told me um, when I watched his Penguin Live lecture and he talked about in the trick 10 cards for Levante. He says, you can do whatever you want, which is exactly what I do in this trick. So I pick up this packet, put it back on top, and I say, if I would have taken a hit, I would have got a nine, I would have busted and got a 29. I've now just removed one card from the top as we talk about the game. Pick up my cards, put them on the bottom, their card has now been moved to the 16th position because I discarded one by dealing it face up onto the table. And now their card is gonna be at their number. So now we count down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's the Jack of Diamonds, okay, at position 16, all right? Let's add one, let's get it back to 17. Now what happens if they have a different number? What if they they busted and they have a 24 and two more is 26. What if they have a 26? This is what I would do. So I would go, look, I have a seven and a six. That's a 13. So I would have taken a hit. Here I busted. So I have um, 13 and I have 23. I busted, they busted, so nobody wins. But I know their score is a 26. I got to get the card at 17 to 26. So we have to add cards on top, okay? So what I'm going to do I'm gonna go, well, that's nine cards. I have three here. I'm gonna just push over three and three more and pick up a break. I'm gonna hold the break under six cards, all right? Because I need to add nine to that. So I'll hold the break. I'm gonna pick up these three, put them on top, and now I have a break under the nine cards that I need. So now as I assemble the deck, I'm gonna cut to my break of nine cards, put them on top, pick the packet up, and just drop it on top. I've now moved nine cards on top of the deck, so now the selection is at their number. Don't make a move out of that, just do it casually as you're talking about the game and no one's gonna know what just happened. So now you count down to 26, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, there's the jack of diamonds, okay? now. The reason why I used um, controlling the card to 17 is because I felt like 19 and 20 are numbers that are going to come up often and people are going to stop there and not take a hit. So let me tell you, show you what I'm talking about. There's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, <clears throat> 17. All right, so here the Jack of Diamonds is at 17. They've cut off about half the cards. Let's say um, when you deal out the blackjack hand, that they get, let's say they get a, oh, let's go with a nine and uh, a 10. Let's, so let's say they have a 19, all right? They're gonna stop there. No one who understands blackjack is gonna not take a hit at 19, all right? And we'll mix these up. They're gonna stay at 19. And let's say my hand is this. I've got, I've also got a 19. Now this is beautiful. I say, what do you got? They're gonna say, I got a 19. I've got a 19. In this situation, don't take a hit. All you're gonna do is pick up the packet, pick your hand up, put it on top, and now you've just placed two cards on top. So now you've moved it from 17 to 19, and now the card is at the number, okay? Um, I think, guys, I think that really covers all the scenarios. All you're doing is trying to figure out how can you use the cards on the table to reposition the card to their number, okay? If it's a really high number, you may have to spread over a few cards and catch that break. As you then reach down at your break, 
to pick up the packet and set it down. If it's a really low number, that's another one that could be a problem. So like if the number is, I was playing my daughter and she's only nine years old and she stopped at a 14. So 10 and two is 12. Um, let's find another two. Here's another two. So here's a 14. Let's say their score is just a 14, all right? In this case here, you have to now remove three cards from the top of that packet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reveal your score, it's a 15. You're gonna reach down and pick up the packet and just put it on top. As you say, oh, if I take a hit, I had 18, I would've had a 24, okay? And you would say, and you can see, if I continue to take hits, the cards are different and I would've busted. So you just deal however many cards you need to deal as you're talking about the game to get them off the top of the pack. Now I can scoop these cards up, put them on the bottom, talk about their score, and now their card's gonna be at the number because I literally just dealt the cards as I was giving myself a hit, talking about the game, what cards would have come up, and now you've repositioned it um, to 14. Now most people aren't gonna stop at 14, but if you're doing the trick to a, to a nine-year-old, they might, okay? Um, that's it, guys. It's called Blackjack with Joe Barry. I hope you guys liked it. Maybe you can tweak that and make it work better for you. Um, if you got any comments about it, don't forget to drop those down in the comments. Thanks, guys, for watching. Until next time, take care.